Hey guys, Big Nick here, and today I have a video for you. Uh, today I have a video, and it is WWE's bringing back the brand split. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, it has breaking news today. WWE has announced uh, they on the Twitter, all social media, internet, and website, and YouTube pages that they are bringing back the brand split as of July 19th. SmackDown will be airing live as well, and they're going to divide the rosters, two unique rosters, their words. <laughs> Um, as of, yeah, as of July 19th, so this is going to be an interesting thing, because now that looks like they're trying to shake things up, maybe to help the ratings, maybe, because we all know Vince doesn't care about ratings, but he may be trying now that he's going to split, give SmackDown a roster, give Raw a roster. Now this is, now this is very interesting news, because as of the past two weeks, WWE has drastically shrunk their main roster. From all the releases, from Sandow, from guys like Sandow to Cody Rhodes. So this is really weird that they're doing this at this time when they could have did it when they had the entire roster. And now with guys like Sandow, Rhodes, uh, Adam Rose gone. Oh, thank God they got rid of Torito and Hornswoggle. Alex Riley. Well, Riley was meaning on NXT. But it's still... It's still going to be interesting because the roster they have now... Now, now the shows... Now each show... People complain now that we got the same matches over and over. Now we're really going to get the same matches over and over on SmackDown and Raw. Now this is going to be interesting. I think Raw will have the bigger roster because of the third hour. So Raw's roster will be... Not that much, but just a little bit. Maybe by three or four wrestlers but that's probably it because eh, that's probably it because they have the third hour they have to fill it and the way I see this roster being split that Raw will be the guys that Vince McMahon really likes his favorite guys like Cena and Reigns and Smackdown I see it being more centered around the p the pure wrestlers of the WWE like they'll put Rollins as the face of Smackdown and Reigns as the face of Raw and then put Cena on Raw and when Orton comes back him on Smackdown and just split the roster from that point on I see, and when it comes to this, since when Cena comes back, I, we believe he'll be in the United States title picture, because, you know, Rusev's just probably just holding it for now. Probably the U.S. title will be on Raw, and that means the Intercontinental title will be on SmackDown, the wrestling title, as it's been coming lately. So this this is how I would split the roster. This is just my opinion on the new on the way it is. And now since SmackDown will be live, we're actually going to have real fan reactions, no longer the tape... Fake reactions. It's all gonna be real. So this is how I do it. As I said, Reigns and this is how I do the first five for Raw and the first five for SmackDown. The first five for Raw, you'd have Roman Reigns, John Cena, uh, probably put the New Day on Raw, and that's five right there. But things uh, probably keep Ambrose on Raw to eventually feud because if he was to win Money in the Bank, probably have him on Raw. To pro eventually probably feud for the WWE title, and I'd probably put and put Rusev on Raw because U.S. title. And this I do SmackDown. Put Seth Rollins on SmackDown, Randy Orton, AJ Styles, The Club, Gallows and Anderson, and Kevin Owens. Miz is six because he's Miz. So that's how you do that. The, those just the, the first five picks I have probably see, and it looks like it's gonna be McMahon, each McMahon controlling the show. So you probably put Shane on SmackDown and Stephanie on Raw. Yeah, that way Shane, Shane will have the wrestling show on SmackDown, and Stephanie would have the sports entertainment show of Raw. Basically, that's how it used to be in the brand split when it first started. But when Paul Heyman was running SmackDown. And well, actually, when Stephanie was running SmackDown, but Paul Heyman was the creative guy behind the scenes with the SmackDown Six. Uh, Benoit, Angle, Edge, Mysterio, and the Guerreros. That'll be it. So it'll be fun to see SmackDown. I see it being the wrestling show. It's two hours. There's not going to be that many promos thrown in there. Only thing is, would it be like Raw would have those where it goes past the limit? You know, how Raw's always going past the eleven o'clock limit. I think the latest I've ever seen Raw end was like eleven thirty. Will SmackDown do that now? It won't just cut at 10? Will it go like 10.05, 10.10, 10.15? That's things we're going to see on July on July 19th. So that's a date for all wrestling fans, well, WWE fans, to like mark down in the calendar. SmackDown Live. Um, I don't remember when they announced the 
when they're going to do the draft, I, pre I predict the draft either being on that Raw or that SmackDown. Probably that Raw. So by the time of July 19th, we will have gone through the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. So many things will be in set, like who will be Mr. Money in the Bank, who will be the world champion. And this also gives another unique thing to bring back the world heavyweight title. The title that everyone loved. I know many people miss since, since it was retired back in 2014. So it's, it'll be a great thing. They bring that title back, give SmackDown its own title again, because that's going to be the one problem. If you have one world champion, have still having the world champion on both shows. Because now with SmackDown Live, I don't think Vince is going to risk having Roman Reigns being booed on every event WWE has. Because we know he'll be booed everywhere, now, especially now that SmackDown's live. You can expect the live crowds to be into it a little bit more now, because not because now they're going to they're going to hear their they're going to be real reactions. So you never know; they'll be more enthusiastic on SmackDown, regardless if the shows like if they throw a crappy show, they'll be more enthusiastic to give their own opinions. They won't just sit there doing this. They'll probably sit there going. Ah! So yeah, so this is going to be an interesting time now, because now we're going to see how they work the storylines. Because you know many storylines are still going to continue after that point, like into SummerSlam, like maybe AJ and the book, AJ and the club storyline will probably go maybe into the fall because we didn't really see anything on Raw after, with the club. We just saw AJ, they just split up. So, and this also does give a unique thing with all the with WWE, with all the releases they ha have had. Will they call some more guys up from NXT or does that mean they're going to go have some returns? Like have some returns of a guy like of a Kurt Angle, or maybe just do some signings like of top independent guys, or they just start bringing TNA up to the main roster. Like they bring up Bobby Roode, Eric Young, Austin Aries. Well, we know Balor's gonna eventually get a call up. Maybe we'll finally see Bailey get called up. And another interesting thing for this brand split is gonna be the women's division. It's also going to be one title, but it, well, we all know it always was like that. And the, mainly Raw had the women's wrestling and SmackDown had the, uh, I'd say, the women who couldn't wrestle on the show would just be there. From women like Tori Wilson to Dawn Marie, Miss Jackie, Sable. While Raw had Trish, Lita, Victoria, Molly Holly, Gail Kim, guys like that. Women, I mean, women like that, Mickey James. So it's going to be fun to see how they do it, and right, and right now, as we all know, that they're trying to put an emphasis on women wrestling, so how are they going to split that up? Probably, they would probably have the women's title on Raw, and hopefully with the Cruiserweight Classic that's coming up soon, maybe it will bring back the Cruiserweight title, and that's a title for SmackDown, like it always was. So that way on SmackDown, if they were to bring the Cruiserweight title back and the World title back, you'd be, you'd have the World Heavyweight title, Intercontinental, and... Cruiserweight title, and maybe on, and on Raw you'd have the WWE title, the WWE title, the United States title, the women's title, and you have the tag team titles just go back and forth because I don't think they're gonna bring back the WWE title, tag team titles, and the world tag team titles. I don't think they're gonna do that because that means they'd have to call up at least two more tag, at least one or two more tag teams from NXT, like maybe which they kind of can't afford to do it right now because they kind of pillage the tag team division at NXT with bringing up Enzo and Cass and the Vaude Villains and they, spoiler alert, the breakup of Blake and Murphy. So really NXT tag teams are only American Alpha and the Revival at the moment. Maybe, we get, maybe we'll see the return of the Dirty Heels in NXT of uh, Bobby Roode and Austin Harris. That'll be fun. So it's going to be a fun time for us WWE fans. I don't... I would I wouldn't say wrestling fans because I don't think that many wrestling fans even watch SmackDown used to watch SmackDown like that ever since I'd say maybe 2006 because seven it was starting to change you know seven they had added Edge but so thank you guys for watching uh, I'll see you again actually hopefully later today with another video my uh, collection video so stay tuned for that and and I'll have a, probably another one later this week maybe next week I don't know I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to record it but that's it thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys again and it's hopefully WWE does not do anything stupid with the brand split so let's hope and pray for that thank you guys for watching bye